Brandon Land here from RunnersFeed.com with episode 6 of Runners Feed Live. I'm here with Simon Byru, who is fresh off his win at the Shamrock Shuffle. Simon, thanks so much for getting up early uh, to join us this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. Um, so, kind of want to go back to the early years, um, starting way back, and maybe you could tell us how you ended up in Regina, and then uh, maybe the transition to school, and then out to Oregon. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, well, my uh, mother's from Ethiopia, and my father's from Eritrea, and uh, I was born in Saudi Arabia, where they lived. After I was born, and uh, after my sister was born, we moved to Athens, Greece for a while, and that was never really uh, meant to be permanent. It was just a kind of a layover until they, my parents could decide where we would move next, and we had some family in uh, Canada, so we ended up in Regina in, I think it was 1988, February of 88. Uh, you know, it was middle of winter, yeah. and you know, we show up at the airport. We don't have any winter jackets or anything. It was, it was kind of uh, one of those moments where we we're like, maybe we should hop on the plane and go back. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, you know, it, we had a lot of support in Regina. There was a great community that kind of helped us uh, get on our feet, and you know, it just kind of went from there and went through uh, the school system there at Saint Augustine, and then later uh, Dr. Martin Boldis, and then I eventually got a scholarship to. Uh, <clears throat> the University of Wisconsin, where I ran for uh, four years, and uh, at the end, when I graduated, I got a contract with Nike, and uh, at the same time, my coach also ended up getting a contract to kind of just set up a, a training camp out in Portland, and so we kind of moved our whole team out west, just to kind of quickly summarize that for you. Yeah, no, that's perfect. Well, it seems like you're enjoying Portland, so I was thinking maybe you could walk us through a, a day in the life of Simon Beru, just morning to night, maybe what you eat, little training schedule, that sort of thing? Yeah, um, you know, like I've said in the past, it changes depending on uh, the season or even what month we're talking about. But for the most part, you know, I'm up about 7.15, 7.30 in the morning, five days a week. We uh, get to uh, Nike headquarters at about 8.30, do a 10 to 11 mile run. And then we have strength and conditioning with uh, Pascal Dobert, who's also a UW grad and Olympian. Uh, after that, I, I get some lunch, usually at Nike's, or actually usually at home, but sometimes we'll just eat at the cafeteria there. Come home, take a nap, which is almost required after a, day like, a morning like that, and then go for a second run, which is about five to seven miles. And then around five o'clock is usually when I have some free time to just do what I want to do. Yeah. But before then, it's, it's all set in stone. So over the past, I don't know, I guess a few months, you haven't raced at all, but you just obviously ran well at the Shamrock Shuffle. Um, maybe you could talk about what you've been up to the past few months and how the Shamrock Shuffle was, sort of like uh, your intro to 2011. Yeah, I've just been really banged up the past few months. Uh, after New York, I took some time off, and you know, I, maybe I'm better off not taking any time off from that one after a race. I think I'm just going to have to jog every day, you know, maybe 10 mm -hmm. 10, 15 minutes as time off, yeah. as active rest. But uh, for some reason, you know, right after I got back from my uh, time off, I just was getting all these random injuries that I've never done before. And, uh, you know, the most serious one I had was the uh, sciatic nerve problem that was kind of running down my uh, right hamstring. And that lasted a few weeks. And then I had, uh, you know, something going on with my left hamstring, and that lasted about a week or so, but I was fortunately able to run through it. So it's just been, you know, one of those things where I'm glad it happened now and not later. So, yeah. you know, I have plenty of time to get fit and get ready for the fall marathon. Definitely. And, yeah, and we thought Shamrock Shuffle was just a great opportunity to kind of get in a race that's, you know, somewhat low-key, but, you know, still be able to just get out there and just test yourself. Yeah, for sure. In terms of spring, summer, like, what does that look like for you? Obviously, there's not a spring marathon in the plans, but... Um, are you getting back to the track, maybe the 10K, that sort of deal? No, you know, we decided to take a different approach this year. Last mm -hmm. year, you know, the, uh, we basically attacked the marathon from the 10K standpoint, where I was a 10K athlete moving up to the marathon. This year, the goal is just the marathon. And so, yeah. you know, I'm going to callous my body to the roads. Everything we do is going to be basically towards the marathon. So I won't be on the track at all. I'll be doing a lot of road races, uh, a couple of half marathons. But we're really just approaching this more from a, a volume standpoint where I'm putting in a lot more miles than I was last year. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'll probably lose a little bit of that 10K speed that I had last year. You know, not much, but yeah. I probably won't be in 27, 23 shape. Yeah. 
uh, you know, I'm going to be gaining strength, hopefully, from the volume and yeah. just really callousing the body to running on the roads. Yeah, well, I know we're all fired up to see how, how the fall goes goes for you. So we appreciate you taking the time to chat with us today, Simon. And, uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing what the summer brings and especially the fall. So good luck. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. All right, thanks, Simon.